Hey guys, come on into my room. All right, so for many of my TikTok videos, this is typically where I film a lot of them. And uh, I don't have all of my studio lights in here at the current moment, but this is where you guys see me do all of the magic, I guess. And a lot of the props that are in my room help me make these videos. And so to the right here is my main prop wall. I have other drawers that have lots of other things, but these are the main things that I use for my videos, like my Harley Quinn choker, and then I have a couple of my tiaras, one of many, and uh, my masks and sunglasses and all of the main things that I use, but I have to say this was a new purchase and I absolutely love it. I'm really excited to use it for a video. Most of these things I've used for videos like my uh, Slytherin tie here for being a female Draco and all sorts of other things, but um, I'm excited to make sure that I get all of these in videos in the future. And then over to the right here, I have a couple more things. I have a, you know, my casual bag of bones here. Who doesn't have a bag of bones in their room? And my little, uh, Oh, what should I call these? These little demon wings, I guess you could say. Um, but I'm definitely going to be using those for videos in the future and possibly in my Halloween costume, my main Halloween costume, even though it's Halloween every day with me. But yeah, those are some fun props that I have there. And then these are my main bags and then my favorite off-white belt. And I use these all the time, whether it be for my style videos or just going out with friends and it's a super fun way to add to my outfits. But um, yeah, that's my main wall of all of my goodies. Over to the left here, I'll bring you to my aesthetic wall. So this is one of my many aesthetic walls and I have lots of them on Pinterest if you guys wanna follow me. But I always add to this and I definitely wanna add a lot more to it. Um, it took a long time to make, but I'm so happy that I have it here and you can definitely see it in my videos. And then to the right of that, I have my little Polaroid pictures that I have for my principal Polaroid. And I love taking old fashioned photographs, but it's also great for being able to take pictures that I already have on my phone and transport them on there. It's not finished, but it's in the process of being finished. So it's, <laughs> it's a work in progress. And so I, so over here, I have my favorite drawing of myself that anyone has ever done. It was done by a very talented artist and it was based off of a picture that you can find on my Instagram of the mugshot challenge on TikTok. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's where you just pretend like you're filming your own mugshot. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then over here is my mirror where I get all of my outfits ready and I've definitely filmed a couple videos here as well. I take a lot of Snapchats on here and it's a great place to just figure out what I'm going to do with all of my conceptual outfits. Um, right here is a brand new wig and so is this one. Got it for my birthday, which just happened. So thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. But yeah, I've yet to use these in videos. So um, I guess you guys will just have to wait and see what I do with them because I don't even know what I'm going to do with them yet. And then I just have a little record player and I'm not even sure what it goes to, but I thought it looked cool. So that seems good enough, I guess. These will probably be here all year long, even though it's not October all year long. I like to think it is. <laughs> and then for the main part of my room. So this bed took six months to make, actually. It's done by uh, a designer named Adam, and we kind of collaborated on it a couple years ago. And over here we have, I don't know if you can see, but there's a star and my signature actually on the bed. And... It was a really fun thing for me to make with this designer. He's so talented and with real marble and uh, it, it took such a collaborative process to make. And uh, over here you can see sort of all of the music notes that are along my bed. These music notes are from the show Wicked and it's to the song Define Gravity. And it's the beginning notes of it saying uh, something has changed within me. Uh, and that's kind of when I fell in love with music and the theater and overall just bringing so much art together with dance and makeup and costume and it's a great reminder of how passionate I am about all of the art that I do. Over here I just have my decorative pillows and this was a gift from my sister and this was a gift from a friend for my birthday and I love seals, they're like my favorite animal so I have yet to name this little guy but I probably should give him a name so if you guys have any recommendations make sure to DM me. And then over here I just have another one of my wigs that was 
very cheap and uh, I used it for a Coraline video which was super fun um, and I, I've yet to use it again but I'm sure I'll find some way to do it and uh, I have a fun uh, little thing here that was made by one of my best friends and it says don't bottle up your emotions and so this is a really fun reminder to make sure that I don't bottle up my emotions and uh, write something that I'm feeling and put it in here if I need it to. So I love this so much and she's the best and she also made this super weird, awesome <laughs> brass doll robot thing. Uh, I don't even fully know how to explain this so I'm just gonna let you decide what this is. And then over here, I just started this so it's not finished yet. I wanted to finish it for you guys but there's been a couple things going on but this is a wall that will be hopefully this whole wall eventually once I'm finished and this is again from my Pinterest and it has uh, Tyler the Creator which I love him. I went to see his show last year. He's incredible. Uh, and then we have the Powerpuff Girls and Issa Laurent and Chanel and uh, Clueless which is definitely one of my favorite movies but I have a lot more that I want to add to this so uh, I guess we'll have to show you when that's finished sometime. And then you can kind of see up here, I don't know if you saw earlier, but I have a bunch of butterflies and I just started adding those, but I eventually want them all around my room and it kind of gives a fun sort of fantasy vibe to my room and uh, there's so much more that I want to do with this room, but this is the start. But yeah, I did this painting when I was super little and it's actually it's super sentimental to me because it's my uh, best friend and I and it's based off of a real photo of us by this lake doing an infinity sign <laughs> and saying like, oh, we're gonna be friends forever, which I definitely believe, so love her so much. Um, and then LBI, which is somewhere that I go every summer with my family, Long Beach Island, I love it so much. And this was actually a gift that I just got. It's one of my favorite children's books because it's about this elephant named Elmer who, <laughs> It's so sweet. He is differently colored than all of the other elephants and he's kind of ashamed about it at first and wants to hide and so he hides his stripes and then realizes that they loved him for the beautiful colored elephant that he was uh, all from the start which sounds super silly but that's kind of how I feel like I am. I'm definitely a very colorful person and I'm never afraid to hide it so it's a good reminder for me. This is one last little thing over here but this basically says right here um, you make me happy when skies are gray and so what that basically means to me is um, It's a, something in my family that we always say to each other and it's part of a song uh, And it's again a really big reminder that I care so much about my family and my friends and I love looking at it when I wake up in the morning It's it's a great reminder for me, but yeah, you guys I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of my room and some of the things that I use for my videos and there's so much more that I want to do with this space but I appreciate you guys watching this with me and if you haven't checked out my TikTok you definitely should it's Evan Ortz and so is my Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter so I love you guys so much and uh, thanks for coming with me in my room. Alright bye guys!